Hello there, and welcome to episode 79 of this series where I play Europe region by region on GeoGuessr, doing so in a tennis match format, meaning that every time I score a perfect 5000 point round, I get a tennis point, and whenever I don't, the game gets a tennis point. The standing is currently two all in games in the third set, and I have won the first two, uh, two sets. And I am 30 love up in the fifth game of this set. Um, yeah, uh, I have a maximum time limit for each game of 35 minutes, although if I played a perfect uh, round that counted in the um, in the previous episode, I will knock three minutes off the clock, which I did, so for this episode I will be starting with 32 minutes. Also, for each perfect round of 5,000 points I play, I will be knocking three minutes off the clock, so I could potentially wind up having to finish this in 20 minutes. And also there's a maximum time limit per round of uh, 7 minutes, so any of these time limits I exceed, I will be forfeiting the round, and the point will go to the game. Today we have made it back into Luxembourg, so we were in Andorra yesterday, and we're going to another tiny country today, although Luxembourg is trickier than it might look. And we're going to the... Uh, uh, Luxembourg, Luxembourgish, Luxembourgian, uh, Canton of Esch-sur-Alzette. And, uh, well, what can we say about this? Well, it's a very densely populated area. We've got um, just shy of 190,000 people living in uh, a total of 242.8 square kilometers. So that's a density of 780 per square kilometer. As you can see, this it is fairly dense. And there's dense areas of population here, so yeah. And uh, if you want to go mountain climbing, well, you'll be struggling a bit because uh, the highest point of elevation in here is uh, at 435 meters, but that's only 211 meters above the lowest point in this area. So. You won't be getting much of a rise haha, out of the countryside. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Uh, well, as well, most of the regions we are traveling through, I don't know much about this place, except that every now and then we have Norwegian teams play in, in, playing in the playing qualification matches for the uh, European Champions League in football. And uh, they often draw... Luxembourgian teams in the qualifiers, and the Dudelange is uh, one that they have encountered in the past. But yeah, let's see what we will encounter as we head into Esch sur Alzette. <clears throat> and this is pretty much to be expected. Now, Luxembourg is nice in the sense that they tend to be good on information in towns. Where they don't excel is, well, out in the countryside, which this, this definitely isn't. Okay, so we've got the Telberg Road, or Telberg. I guess this is heading up the Telberg. Uh, the Tel, Tel Hill. Um, that's probably... No, I want to go downhill, not back up. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's a bit of a difference between... Uh, photo sessions. Hmm, okay, that thing didn't give me anything. We're definitely in a village. Or small town. Okay, and this must be okay. So this is uh, a football pub, or well, we get pub food, Los Stadio, and what do we find, Los Stadio? Okay, so this is the main strip in town. Uh, cemetery Road. And uh, I think this might be where we are. Niederkorn. 
near the corner. Now, I, I, I know that is one of the communities in the area, but where is it? Or am I wrong? It's neither corn. Now let's see, can we find... Um, we need to find where we are. If we are indeed in need of corn, it could be different dons as well. So the one I actually think we might be or I'm just looking in the wrong places or I'm looking at the wrong information. There's a diff bus is operating out of Diffidant. And the number one probably goes to neither corn. So in Diffodeng feel ice all all. Okay, so this suggests that we are in Diffidant. Well, it's <laughs> it's pronounced in several different ways depending on which of the languages of the country you speak. And uh Diffodeng seems to be that's the Letzebergish way of saying it. Um, now, um, hmm. I'm wasting time, and I'm still not a hundred percent sure where I am. I'm fairly sure we're, we're in Diffidant, and. Uh, List. But if we are, okay, so we're going south. And this seems to be at least the old town center. No, I'm dithering too much. Um, I need some proper road signs. What does it say on that bus stop? Yeah, and then we want to need a corn. Ay, 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 ay. Still heading south, Rue Saint Antoine. Grand Rue. I am so lost right now. And I really don't like that. And I'm running out of time quickly. And I am fairly sure I'm looking in the wrong place. Uh, hi. Uh, what do we do about that with a minute to go? Um, also doesn't help that my internal compass has been turned 90 degrees for this playthrough. I sometimes suffer that and that is so annoying because whenever I look at the street it doesn't go... Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. La Sauvage. Uh, I should have had more time, and I don't. But okay, uh, the center of Diffidange is over to the west. Let's see. Uh, where can we find a roundabout in Diffidange? Um, <clears throat> Where's well, the roundabout? No, I, <laughs> I did not think that the forfeit would be on the card, but yeah, I will be forfeiting around here. 
that because I simply can't figure out the spot. Let's see. The 175 and the train to Nidacon. And we run out of time. So, uh, so, but I still have to make a proper attempt at finding this place. I can't just click my way out of this. So what's the 175 to Soleur and Sanem? The Sanem, the Soleur, six kilometers. So, we're not here, are we? No, that, yes, actually, that does fit with that railroad bridge there. Is there a golf station here? No. But that looks like a railroad bridge. There aren't all that many. Well, this one is the only one that matches, but uh, it's, uh, there's all sorts of things wrong with it. Let's see, how about... No, we're not down here, that's for sure. What am I missing? So we can get to the E13 that way. Okay, so what, where are the... So is that thing. Well, that's not the 175, it has the 178 and the 174. The 110. 178. The 175 and the 175. Are we in need of corn after all? Oh no, yeah. Oh god, this read the signs properly. That's the parking lot for the need of corn. Ah, railway station. So. Yeah, my compass was turned. We're in this, well, this roundabout now. Right, let's see. So we were in the corner after all. And uh this Titelberg, we were Telberg. Weren't we? But still I haven't No we're not sold on this yet. Here we go. So Yes, we were, but what was that one of those usual glitches where we are suffering? Yeah, it is. It's one of those places where we are suffering. Yeah, you can see the. You can see the seam between the images here. It's Titelberg, not Telberg. Not Telberg, Titelberg. Okay. So we're here. Wow. That did not make myself proud there. And it's love 15. No, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> better check. Uh, it's 30.15. Don't want to get the scores wrong again. It's so annoying when I do, because I have to play catch up with the the scores on the screen when I'm editing. But that took way too long, and I am um, well. Oh, hmm. Twenty-eight. I got thirty-two minutes to finish this, don't I? And right. Okay. Focus. New game, new opportunities. Emil Meirisch, I guess that's the name of the stop. So that could be the name of the street, for instance. This looks like a main street. Yeah, uh, 
Okay, so this is the street of Emil Meirisch. Going off to the side. Here we can get to a, a morgue. Okay, or is it the Rue de Morgue? No, actually. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Graveyard. Um, going steadily uphill. Here we can get to Belvo and the Wood Road. And up here. Let's see, we're in 174 between Belvo, Esch, and Diffidange. So that has Esch, and the 174 has Belvo. And so if we are. Well, we don't have that many options, do we? So where does the 175 is that co run? How does this work? So here it's southeast. Now what is the other roadway I intersecting with here? It's the Ah oh, great. Hmm. There's more signs up here. That could be a little more helpful. helpful. So we can get to Belvo on the 178. So now a little orange. Okay. So Belvo on the 178. That makes it. So we are probably in Soler. The Rue de Bois. Emile Meyrich. Let's see. So we are. <clears throat> We're on the bend here somewhere. That uh, could get tricky. Let's see. So the bus stop is up there. And, uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this could be tricky. Let's see. Can we identify those houses? Could be that thing. Although, let's see, so we have this thing. And let's see if we can spot any businesses or something here. There's something here behind the bus. There's a Soretia, Esgretia. Okay, this is this one. Right. So. And then we got this building, which is this one, these two together, and we got a bit of a gap, and we got these four buildings, well here they show us three together, open space, and then we get to the building that we started by, which is this one, which has three sections, one, two, three, yes. Let's see, just get it right. There we are. And we are looking up the space between these buildings, like so. And we are looking at the middle section. Yes, that should be good. Oof, that was, that was better. So it's 40.15, knocking another three minutes off the clock. That means 26 minutes at my disposal. How oh, are we on time for that? That sounds about right. Yeah, 15, yeah, we are on 26 minutes. Right, parking lot. Lidl. <coughs> In. That does not help. Livraison cacti. Okay. Okay, so we have a little. I wanted to figure out where this little is. And of course, if I've got 26 minutes left, I can't dither. I can't afford to dither. So I need information ASAP. So commercial zone. Yes, I got that much. Entrez cocktail. Okay. Yeah, 
Nope, we need to soldier on until we find the first proper intersection. Gas station Aral. Or something. This looks like a proper town. Going eastward, so it could be an Esh. Driving school, I guess. Yep. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument that we are in Esh. Can I find the name of this road, which I should have looked for a long time ago? Avenida de la Gare. That should be Station Road or something. I for now. Hotel de V. Let's see that we are in uh, Shizil. Said that doesn't seem to work. And uh, we're not in Dudelange. I no, well, actually, we could be. We could be in Dudelange. Or Dudelange. But no. Hmm. This is hurting me no end on the clock. And still not closer to figuring out where I am. Ay, ay, ay. <coughs> and then in terminal, interminable Main Street. No, I'm not going that way. Game says, I am. Well, I'm forging on anyway. Because now I need that intersection. What on earth is going on here? Wait. What did it say down there? That was the end of a town and the start of one. No. No, no, no. That was not the case. Blast. Oh my word, I am hurting bad now, and I am still no... What does it say here? It says... Bas... Bas... Where could that be? Yeah, what could that be? Is that a part of Ash? But it also said that was just probably the the end of us charge. Yes. And we're on five, apparently. That's the four. And time is running out again. That's the five. So this is where we are. I wonder if I've been in Petange. And... There's the cock, there's the little. Let's see. Ooh. Well, this is costing me. This is really costing me. We should be about there. Hoo, 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 hoo. And we're knocking another three minutes off the clock. We're... Oh, that was a game point, by the way. So now 3 2 up. Right, so that's nine minutes off the clock. That means I'm down to 23 minutes to, uh, to make two rounds. How much time do I have left? Not a lot at all. So 23 minutes on the clock and... Ooh. Okay. Uh, there will be at least one forfeited, if not two forfeited rounds here. Mainly because of that first round that absolutely destroyed me. Let's see. Uh, hmm... Right. This is Peterburg, Bettenburg. 
something like that, I want to think. And uh, we are crossing the railroad to the northeast. Towards the northeast. How many tracks do we have underneath us? Not that many. So it could be like here, for instance. I'll have to take a punt here very shortly. Just want the name of a street, if I if I may. You mean? So this road is going south. Oh yeah, now I've turned around again. What's the name of this business? We are in Bettenburg. Um, yeah, so it must have been up here somewhere. Let's see. Um, that's looking south. We're heading north. So we must have been about here, right? Um, um, no. Railroad is off to the east. Oh, great. Managed to confuse myself now. Which happens all the time. We are here, aren't we? Yes. Did I do that within time or what? Um, I'm uncertain. Let's see. Uh, yes, I did. So that's 15 love, but that makes this next round automatically forfeited. Because I'm now down to 20 minutes on the clock, I think. And pardon me if I'm spouting nonsense and that information on the screen says something else, but the information on the screen will always be correct. Right, then I can take my time with this one. We're on, uh, let's see, we're getting onto Prince Henri. And. The mean. Okay. And what's the name of the street we're on? It is hidden behind the trees. Very convenient. There's also a tiny road down to the side here, which we are not allowed to. To no, no, park the, park the spot. Okay. Hmm. No, this does not look like a major thoroughfare. There's a railroad crossing up ahead. That could be handy to know. Something Charles Stan the Tier. What's that? Is that some military thing? Couldn't quite make out a symbol and stuff there. So we're not in Dikirch. Dikirch is in a different part of the country. That I believe is up here somewhere. Yeah, that's Dikirch. So hmm. now this was a very different cup of tea from Andorra yesterday. I have to say. All right, here's the there's the railroad, on the railroad uh, crossing. Where's the crossing? I don't see one. There's a railroad station over that way. Oh wait, is there a? Oh, that's just a culvert. Hmm. We are outside. Down, which could be useful if there is a sign with the name of the place, which there usually is, but in this case, 
and that doesn't seem to be. All right, so I guess we'll have to head in town again. All right, that's the reason why it doesn't give us a sign of the name of the place, because the place goes on on the other side. Um, okay. That suggests to me that we should be going another way, but here's something. <clears throat> so, are we going to run on the assumption that we're in Orbicon? Now that we failed horribly on Nidacon in the first one. <clears throat> Our next question is, can we find Orbicon? Pepange, Lot de Lange, and there's railroad running through it. Which direction does that railroad run, by the way? It runs. Okay, so it makes a rather significant bend here. So we've got railroad here. We got this railroad. Shift launch. That kind of works, doesn't it? Except for. No, we're not in shift launch. Let's see, there's a railroad going up there, and we got the railroad going down here, but then we're into France. And then there's a the railroad going here. Oh, that's an abrupt turn. And I'll go through Diffidange. France again. Hmm. And now we're into Belgium. Been for a while, actually. <laughs> what am I missing here? So where's Obacon? <clears throat> hmm. I am <laughs> I'm caught pants down here, aren't I? I is just exposing just exposing me pretty Good, that's the fraud I am. <laughs> um, 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 well, let's see, maybe we can figure out because there was a sign to a railroad station as we came to the railroad. And maybe we can find. Huh. Right. Railroad station is up there. Or at least the railroad stop. With some luck, we'll be able to read some of the signs once we get on top here. Or is this one of those? Uh, okay, let's see. Yes, we are at Orbicon. So why can't I find the dark place? Um, you, you people probably already saw it. So let's see. So we are not as Dalheim. Now we're on the over the Remich. Frisange, Aspelt, Kratom, Berchem, Dudelange. Romelange, Schifflange, Tetange, Ange, Ange, Ange. 
Uh, Lalonde. Where is Obercorn? I hate looking for things in this manner. But sometimes that's what you're reduced to. Here is Obercorn. It's a part of Diffidage. Right. Now I find the Obercorn. That's the Belvo. Here's the. So this is Obercorn. Now where's the railroad station? So it's either on that line. Here we are. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Um, I've near the park the spot. Is where we were. Is the Prince Henri? So it's somewhere here. And we are right. Somewhere on this thing. This is that. We're here. Ah, the shame. <laughs> ah, man. That was... That was... Uh, I know I'm griping over one... I mean, round two to four were nice. First round and last round were just horrific and not because of Luxembourg but because of me what on earth happened what hit me <laughs> well Luxembourg did an S0 Z and while I only dropped a single point in that playthrough that was still hmm yeah oh well I should be happy that I got a proper challenge even, and I said that Luxembourg is tricky, and it proved to be. So yeah, that is episode 79 for you. Please check in tomorrow for episode 80. Until then, bye-bye.